Hi everyone, how are you? This is an April 23rd Quest for Rio update. I'm sending out a video blog just to save myself the revising and editing of a letter. Plus these days it's kind of fun to watch videos. I'm up in Princeton, New Jersey and I'm Today we had a practice day for the National Selection, I'm competing in the National Selection Regatta 1, which is a regatta that um, the winner will go represent the United States in the World Cup 2 in France this summer. It's a really competitive field. There's 30 women, uh, um, a really, com really competitive mix. We have the 20... 12 Olympic single scholar here, as well as many women who have been a part of the national team, been in the world championships, and actually I think also have been, uh, well, I think one, been to the Olympics in other boats, and uh, well, I think one, one woman's a two-time Olympic gold medalist. So it's really exciting and an honor to be around such, among such a competitive field. Um, the progression will be tomorrow, we have a time trial in the morning where 18 uh, rowers, will, the field of 30 will be narrowed down to 18, so we just go off one after the other, and the best scores, top 18 best scores will continue on, um, and then there's heats, th uh, heats Thursday night, semifinals Saturday, Friday morning, and then the AB finals are on Saturday, so I'm really hoping to make it to Saturday. Last year, I placed second in the C final. So I'm just aiming to improve on that score, but I think we're much I'm much more prepared this year than I was last year. Uh, I'm staying in a really nice hotel, which is a treat. Last year I commuted back and forth, which was pretty taxing. Uh, my body feels great. I don't know. Some of you may know, some of you may not. I joined Vesper Boat Club's elite racing team, and I'm really excited to be up here and be part of a team. Uh, versus me coming up and usually kind of feeling like uh, it's just me individually competing and that's not the feeling that this regatta will have so that's will be really nice um, the preparations like I said were going great we've been doing race pieces almost every weekend I had a little bit of a scare I was feeling very tired very fatigued last two days and I actually think I realized I just wasn't eating enough or this new team has some new types of volume and like we this weekend we had 100, 120 minute rows and your metabolism just gets going and I think I uh, just wasn't consuming enough calories and taking enough to keep up with it so I woke up three pounds lighter than the day before one morning two days ago and uh, I was kind of like shoot I gotta eat more, so I um, I have adjusted and feeling much better, and got a massage today, and I'm just really excited. I don't think there's much more that I could have done this time around to prepare for this. Um, my mantra has been, train like you fight, fight like you train. So I'm just ready to go out tomorrow. I've got Jevy Stone right in front of me for the time trial. So I'm going to be rolling facing her coming at me, so that'll be really motivation to go fast and not let her catch me or keep the distance. And aside from that, I'll keep you posted. I also just wanted to say thank you very much to all of my sponsors, unofficial sponsors and friends. There is um, another rower, two-time Olympian, just posted a blog about the truth about her bank accounts and the financial struggles she goes through in order to train, in order to do what she does. And my heart went out to her and I really associated with some of the feelings that she felt. But I also felt so fortunate that uh, I have the sponsors and support that I do. I'm really lucky. So thank you everyone for everything that you do because I couldn't be here ready to lay it all out on the line and live the dream without you. So take care and I'll keep you posted. Bye.